As this contest to be the next Prime Minister goes on, there must be lots of you wishing you could intervene, say something, heckle, break into their bubble and force them to listen. Well, today, with awesome timing, the planet did just that, heckling the Tory party by sending temperatures in London to an unbearable 37 degrees, just as their leadership hustings on climate change were taking place. Of course, given that the various candidates had that, that the various candidates had to say they were jolly concerned, they were very keen on hitting Britain's net zero emission target by 2050 and all the rest of it. But do we believe them? There are powerful and influential forces who want to water down Britain's commitments, ditch green levies, extend deadlines, widen loopholes. Michael Hintz, a billionaire Australian donor who backs the Global Warming Policy Foundation, an organisation campaigning against net zero, has given money both to Kemi Badenoch and to Penny Mordaunt. In her opening speech to be Tory leader, Badenoch said the net zero targets had been set up with no thought to the industries in the poorest parts of the country and that would displace emissions to other countries, what she called unilateral economic disarmament. And she didn't mean it as a compliment. Penny Mordaunt, who's also taken money from Terence Mordaunt of the same anti-net zero foundation, is he a relative? And an endorsement from the motoring lobbyist Howard Cox was criticised by the House of Lords Committee for watering down carbon emission targets in her trade deal with Australia, getting rid of key language about climate policy in it and striking a deal which would lead to more deforestation. Now, I am a tolerant and gentle person. But climate change is happening, and it's making me hot under the collar. More extreme weather is all around us. You can feel it on the street, on the side of your cheek right now. And in the winter, there will be, surprise, surprise, more flooding and wilder storms. This, like the loss of polar ice and underwater reefs, habitats, and innumerable beautiful, useful species which cannot be replaced is agreed to be happening by all the most respected scientific institutions in the world. No one can say they haven't been warned. And I, for one, have had enough of being told by pallid, shadowy, old businessmen and lazy, ignorant hacks and sleazy lobbyists who aren't real scientists, any of them, that the science is wrong and that what is happening isn't happening enough. And if this poison is being injected into the all already undemocratic game of choosing a new Prime Minister, then it needs to be called out and flushed out right now. We need real leaders in this country who can tell us the truth clearly and then help us to do what needs to be done. The world's climate is just too important to be negotiated about behind the scenes. And if you don't believe me, go outside, why don't you, and have a brisk walk right now. 